Father God, you have been lifted up today. And your word says that when we lift you up, you draw people to yourself. Mm. Father, if there's anyone here that does not know you, Lord, it is our prayer that they will be drawn to you and they will desire that relationship. And we thank you for an opportunity to experience your presence today. And my prayer is that you will continue to be with Emmaus and Hannah. And you'll lead them and that they will follow close behind you. We love you. We thank you for all you do. In Jesus' name, amen. met Emmaus, I knew he was the one. When I tell you guys I'd never seen Hannah smile so much, I mean it. There's so much joy and happiness in the relationship they have built, and most importantly, they have built it on a foundation of Jesus Christ. I'll never forget the day we were at clinical our junior year, and Emmaus DM'd me on Instagram and asked if Hannah was single. Knowing Emmaus now and who he is makes me happy he did. Emmaus, thank you for loving my best friend so very well, for treating her friends like your own, for pointing her to the cross and leading her well. To the both of you, I'm so excited to see where this journey takes you and to watch God work through each of you and your marriage. I love you both and wish you the best. Emmaus, I cannot believe we are here now saying our last prayer as fiance. God has affirmed me multiple times that it's you. One scripture I want us to remember in this moment is, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves, Romans 12, 10. Babe, I pray our marriage will be so blessed, rewarding and fulfilling as we go through life together. God is so immeasurably good and I'm one lucky gal to be marrying you. <laughs> so I'm so excited to be your wife in a few. You make me so happy. Let's get married. I love you. Hand bear. Hannah Jane Vanderbilt. I remember telling you about going through depression and needing counseling on the way to Max Patch because I wanted to be honest with you and I thought there was a decent chance you'd break up with me that day. But you said you never even thought about leaving me. That day, you showed me your true heart and I know that you'll love me forever. No matter what happens, I always put God before you and then before me and I'm here to love, serve, and protect you. I would lay down my life for you and our future children. You are such a strong woman of God and I will love you until the day that I take my last breath. You're my greatest million little miracle and I'll love you forever. Take a stand, stand firm. That I've watched you for a couple of decades now, standing firm, preparing for this moment, preparing for this relationship, preparing for this lifetime. So, will you, on the foundation of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. will you stand firm? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I believe that you mm -hmm. do. And so, based on you accepting this charge, 
And I encourage you, my son, to turn and behold your bride. this is the day I get to marry my best friend and the man of my dreams. Just over one year ago when you asked me to be your girlfriend I knew there was something special about you. Ever since I was about 16 I prayed and I would that I would find a man who loves the Lord and most importantly is in love with our Heavenly Father more than me. I pray I would find a man who makes me feel like a princess and you do that. You treat me better than I could ever imagine. In 1 John 3:18, it says dear children let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Emmaus Luke Vanderbilt, I vow to love you till the day I take my last breath. I vow to be your biggest supporter, encourager, and to always push you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to be your best friend for life. I am yours forever. I love you, Emmaus. Oh. Hannah Jane Brewer, today I take you to be my wife. I promise to love you, support you, pray with you, and always be by your side. I vow to be a man of God who listens to the Holy Spirit for direction as the leader of our family so that we can honor God in all that we do. Hannah, I've prayed for you ever since I was a little boy with the same baby face that I have today, and I've always wanted a woman who feared the Lord, can make me laugh, and who amazes me with her beauty every day. And Hannah, God gave me you, and today I give you my all. I love you. Now let's get married. With the vows that you've shared with each other, and the promises that you've made with each other and sharing your rings, I announce you husband and wife. Emmaus, you may kiss the bride. It was just over a year ago uh, that Emmaus met Hannah, but he had met me a few weeks before, so I win. Obviously, he met Hannah a few weeks later, and I was, I was the lucky one to hear, oh my gosh, this Hannah girl, she's so awesome, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh Lord, don't forget about me. <laughs> I am so honored and humbled to be part of this amazing story and journey. I cannot wait to watch this powerful couple change the world. To Hannah and Emmaus, cheers.